Hello YouTube and uh, welcome Diecast family and uh, I got a huge hobby shop haul here today so they had a bunch of new stuff in the hobby shop uh, some things I didn't even know that were out like this first one this Johnny Lightning now they had two of these two different variations they both were Pontiac uh, GTOs, which I do collect the Pontiac GTO. And we got the 66 Pontiac GTO here in gold with a Hearst. That's why I chose this one over the, the other one. Although it was hard not to pick them both up, but uh, I was already buying so many cars there. I mean, this is a huge haul, the probably the largest haul I've ever had from this hobby shop. That sells green light, Johnny Lightning, and I think I even got a couple M2s in here. So this is release two, I didn't notice. Uh, the other one might have been release one. It does not say how much they're limited to, but I just tore right through it, but it did tell about the cars. If you want to try and read that, tore right through that one. I could care less about the packaging. I'm all about the die cast car. And it definitely looks amazing. Camera will focus. Quite cooperating here. We'll get her set up. Sorry about the quality control issue here. There we go. That's much better. It does have an opening hood. We got this one with the gold trim. Can't get the hood open on that one. It looks really good with the gold trim. Kind of has, I think it has gold, gold flake in the paint. Definitely has a flake paint job. And the next one's another Johnny Lightning. One I wasn't going to pick up these square body Johnny Lightning Zingers. Oh, they made almost 7,000 of them. But they had it. And this is an auto rolled casting. Without a hood and a big engine and the Zinger base. So it will be the third Zinger in my collection now. And I might pick up some more of these. I already pre-ordered the Golf one that's coming out and the Rat Fink one that's coming out. They have two different Rat Finks coming out. And they have a Golf one coming out that are hobby exclusives or Miho exclusives. But I did pre-order them. I think they're coming out this month too. I don't usually keep these cards either, but I might keep this one. Of course, the tailgate opens up because it is auto roll casting. What kind of cool if the whole thing was lifted like that? Rubber tires with them bars and stuff because people put them bars on the lifted trucks. All they gotta do is lift the front end. Maybe somebody can make a custom on one like that. Look like a mud truck. The big blown engine be kind of cool. And I don't know if I'll keep this in the auto roll truck collection or might put it with well, one of the Zingers uh, burgundy cars. So 
If I start collecting some zingers, I could put in the zinger collection. But it might end up in the auto rolled Silverado truck collection. Just as a place to store it. And I thought I got lucky and got the whole series too there for uh, six bucks a piece would be 36 bucks for the case which is a little bit cheaper than I can have a case shipped to me from 3,000 toys but uh absolutely awesome release of green light but I'm missing the truck so I'm gonna hold off on unboxing these five until then uh, I picked up six of them so one of them must be from series one And I couldn't help picking up some of these from Series 7. Dually Drivers. This 2015 Ram 3500 Dually Crane Truck. Port of Maine. Or no, Port of Miami Tunnel. Thought it looked freaking awesome. With the crane on the back and the utility boxes. And it was really hard for me not to pick up more there. I could have got this whole set. Did not pick them all up because it's not a set I would pick up the whole set up. But I did get four of them. So I kind of feel like I should have got the other two. The whole set's nice. And this truck looks Freaking awesome with the crane on the side. And then we have this M2. For $8.99, I cannot pass it up. I was happy to find it. This 1973 Chevy Cheyenne Super 10. And Coca-Cola. But I just love the paint scheme on this one, so... Absolutely had to have it. So I got Johnny Lightning, M2, and Green Light. The only thing I didn't pick up was any auto rolled, which he does sell. Just I have them all because I always buy auto rolled by the case. So Let's see if I can get this plastic case off. Without damaging the truck. Because they make it hard sometimes. Damn thing just never wants to pop out. Then when it does, it really just flings out. And if you guys open your M2s, you would know exactly what I'm talking about. That's how I broke the spoiler on this guy. And that's how it happens. It's trying to pop open this plastic. Which this one I cannot get. They have it crammed in so far. They cracked it. They actually cracked it. Right there on that corner. Where they have this base crammed up in there so far. There we go. I got it. And it was not easy, but we got it out. Now we got to get it unscrewed. So much work. Get out one die cast. So much better when it's in a blister. And 
end, you got the right screwdriver. Another one I just used is getting thrown away. Greenlight killed it with these Super Duty castings with lensed headlights. It's a shame they couldn't do that with everything. And that's one thing M2 did right with the Silverados. I think they made the Chevy a little small. I don't think it looked like that on the tailgate, but... You get lensed headlights and tail lights with them too. And them are not bad rims for an M2. And the M2 screwed together. So, the M2 does have lots of benefits to it. Can't really make out under the hood. Nice, nice front grille detail. Where they like put a wash detail to it. Do not think the other ones do that. Really gives it depth. Always, always Coca Cola trademark. It's like pretty subtle for a Coca Cola truck. Plus, I never seen one in this color. Coca Cola on the back window, which you can't really see. See it right there, Coca-Cola on the back window, on the tinted windows, which almost looks like spray tint. Doesn't look like the glass is tinted. Looks like it was tinted after the fact. Kind of odd. All right. Next one from Series 7, Dolly Drivers. We got the 2019 Ford F-350 Dually, Ruby Red, and Stone Gray. Which I already have this truck. In Burgundy, I think this is a third release. The first release was one of the first ones that came out with a gooseneck trailer. And it was like a tractor supply or something, uh... Man, you can really smell the paint when I pulled this one out. But it was like a tractor supply exclusive, and you could only get it online. And it sells for a ton of money now. And even then, it was selling for like 30 bucks. I think it was 35 bucks shipped even then. Like maybe 29 bucks plus shipping. I'll grab them real quick. We'll see what the difference is. I already know between these two. Because the first release here, just a loose truck of it, sells between $50 to $70. In one card, it sells for about the same. So they might be different years. This one has a gray trim along the bottom. But this is your first release. Which is a very expensive release. And it has a metal base. Where your dually drivers, this one has a metal base. Imagine that. The first dually driver release of it, it had a plastic base. All right, we got different tailgate, so maybe a different trim package on them. These are going to be dusty. They are up on my shelf for quite a while. So, almost didn't pick up the new, newest release. Do I need three of these? Well, this one, the windshield bothered me. It was on the outside. Where your more expensive variation did not. This one has a plastic base. So, it, this one, the windshield's on the outside. But it has black trim on it, which hides it. I think, 
This one, the new release with the metal base. This one's the only one with the bed liners, a more expensive, rare variation. Has chrome door handles, and the paint might be a tad more burgundy. I don't know. Tad more candy. And they may have different front ends. So they definitely have different front ends. Slightly. The more expensive variation has a nicer front end. So did I need to pick up another one? Not really, but for $5.99 I could not resist it. Here's another one from Series 2. This is Moe's 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle. Who's Moe? Anybody know who Moe is? I feel like I should know. We got a 1966 Ford Mustang test car. Oh, this is Series 1. That's how I screwed up. Alright, that one's Series 1. Let's see what else. Hopefully I don't have anything else from Series 1, but I might. Now this is Series 2. This is Angelo Vespa's 1969 Chevrolet Camaro. Looks pretty good in white. Who's Angelo? If you know who Angelo is, comment down below. And we got another one from the Dolies, a 2018 Chevrolet Silverado 3500 Dolly Service Bed, Illinois Tollway? Huh, must be what they call their pay road. We call it a turnpike here in Ohio. But it was a Silverado. And it got the utility box on the back. And it smells like paint when I cracked it open. Plastic base. Still a very heavy casting, even though has a plastic base, the utility box is all metal. Feel like they could have put something in it. You need to put like a Lincoln or a Miller welder in the back of these and like a oxygen settling set and stuff. That'd be cool. Oh, it's a help vehicle. I don't know, maybe a spare tire can of gas next from series two is a uh, gary mills 1970s chevrolet camaro looks pretty good so both these are from series two got a 70 chevy camaro and a 69 chevy camaro in the same set and they both look good so, I'm not complaining. It's like the one set they came out with not too long ago that had like three or four different Ford. It had like two Mustangs in it. Maybe three. It had three Mustangs in it, I think. Was it a Black Bandit release? The last one? Oh, shoot. I got another one from Series 1. That means I'm missing two of them from Series 2 now. Damn it. Got the Stuart Adams 1969 Chevrolet Camaro TUX. I just saw like six of these hanging on the same peg. I didn't even look at the series. So now I'm missing two of them from series two. And then we have another... Dually Driver Series 7. This is a 2018 Ram 3500 Dually Stake Truck Waste Management. 
which I thought was cool. See this steak side. I haven't saw the 2018 dually as a steak side, I don't think. And in the waste management, which I'm still waiting on my waste management garbage truck, which I pre-ordered in January. And I think they came in like two months ago. I could have bought it at the store, the hobby shop, everywhere else. But I'm still waiting on the damn pre-order of it. That I don't think is going to get shipped out until September or November now. Because Surplus Goodies keeps combining all my pre-orders. When I put them on separate orders and paid shipping separately for each order. So they would ship when they came in. After shipping me a bunch of stuff. They took like five or six pre-orders and merged them all together on one order. Because I kept asking why they weren't coming, why I wasn't getting them. And then my last pre-order, which is stuff that's not supposed to come in until September or October, which you might might see it in November because they're usually really late and behind. That really sucks. I'm actually waiting on a lot of pre-order stuff from a lot of different companies, so... I think some of the stuff was supposed to start coming in July, August, and September. So we'll see. We'll see what I get. But this Dodge looks really awesome as a steak side. Video took a lot longer than I thought. When I get the other two complete series two... I'll make a video and crack them open. Can't wait to crack open this Camaro test car. That thing is badass looking. So let me know which one was your favorite today. Here's a look at a couple customs that I finished up recently. This is probably the newest one. I don't think you guys have seen this one. Or the Skyline. But if you follow me on Instagram, then you get to see pictures of these. I post a lot of stuff to my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram or have an Instagram and collect diecast, you need to. To me, it's the largest platform for die-cast collecting. There are millions and millions of people who collect die-cast all around the world who post amazing, awesome pictures of their collections. All adults. So it makes you know that you're not the only adult out there who loves these little tiny cars. Oh, make sure you hit the like, subscribe. Leave comments, let me know which one was your favorite today, and have an awesome day.